Hello and welcome to the Barbican Project update and overview for the Pike release. Uh, my name is Dave McCowan and I'm a principal engineer for Cisco uh, Cloud Solutions Business Unit and I lead security efforts there. Um, also with me today is uh, Doug Mendezabel, uh, key manager expert and former PTL of Barbican, and Caitlin Farr, who is a Barbican core member and lead for the Castellan project. Uh, first, what does Barbican do? So Barbican is the official key and secret manager for OpenStack. Um, secrets in this uh, context includes encryption keys, uh, passwords, TLS certificates that you might need for OpenStack services or uh, virtual machines uh, running on OpenStack. And Barbican provides a way to securely manage and access these secrets. It provides a REST API that allows you to uh, create secrets, store secrets, or, uh, or manage the lifecycle of these secrets. A uh, little background and history for Barbican. Uh, Barbican was founded in the uh, Havana release of OpenStack. Uh, over the last cycle, we've had 36 individual contributors from across 17 companies, so we have uh, great energy and diversity across the development front. Um, looking at the last OpenStack user survey, uh, we find adoption is, is still low. Um, uh, the 27% of users say that they're interested in, uh, in Barbican and checking it out. 11% um, so far have uh, brought it to deployment. Uh, that's 8% uh, testing Barbican and 3% um, actually deploying it in production. Uh, so the Pike release, we're excited that we have a lot of good, uh, good features. Uh, most of them fall under the bucket of either improved usability, improved security, or improved interoperability. <laughs> And over the next few slides, I'll go into details about what's coming in, in Pike and what could come after Pike. So first of all, let's look at secret store plugins. So when Barbican has a secret to store, uh, it doesn't keep it itself. It provides an option of plugins uh, that go behind Barbican to securely store these secrets. Uh, in the current uh, Okada release of Barbican, there's four choices. Uh, two of these are database adapters. So the secret is encrypted and then stored into your OpenStack database. Um, option one we call simple crypto. This is great for running on your laptop or running in dev stack, running in the gate. And uh, simple crypto is nice because it's simple, easy to start, but the master key or the key encryption key lives in the Barbican config file and key text. So that's a little bit dull for production use. So the other option for a database adapter is our PKCS 11 plugin. In this case, we uh, connect with an HSM, and then the master key is actually stored in the HSM, and that's where the encryptions are done of the secrets before it is uh, stored in the database. Um, another option we have is our KMIP plugin. This allows Barbican to talk to uh, an HSM and actually encrypt and store the secrets there, and then Barbican just keeps the metadata of the secrets uh, in the OpenStack database. And then the fourth option is the Red Hat dog tag plugin. So dog tag is uh, part of free IPA. The I Identity uh, policy authentication uh, plugin or audit plugin, and uh, it can um, be a back end to Barbican to securely store secrets for you. Uh, looking forward in Pike, uh, we have under development a new plugin to use the HashiCore Vault plugin. This is something that's come up before at summits that uh, people are using Vault or heard about Vault, excited about uh, HashiCore's Vault. So we're looking forward to a new plugin to allow um, Barbican secrets to, to be stored there. And then um, Future roadmap, we're looking at the free IPA uh, vault plugin and TPM integration, hopefully, um, something uh, in the future roadmap. Um, another aspect of Barbican is the clients. So there's a variety of different ways to, to access Barbican. Uh, in the current release, we have the typical uh, OpenStack offerings. We have a REST API. Uh, we've got the OpenStack CLI. We've got the Python library. And we also have Castellan. So Castellan is a uh, uh, Python programmable library that's written for OpenStack projects, such as you know, Nova, uh, Cinder Glance, and so on. Uh, when they want to store secrets, they can import the uh, Castellan library, and most of the heavy lifting of interacting with the key manager, or in particular Barbican, is done by Castellan. So that provides a nice, consistent way for OpenStack projects to communicate uh, with Barbican. Uh, so looking forward in Pike uh, underway, we've got some usability enhancements to our APIs. So we've got list filters. So instead of just being able to get a full list of the objects stored in Barbican, you can apply filters to get partial lists and sorted lists. Um, in addition, we're gonna add an ID field to returned objects. Uh, when Barbican was founded, uh, instead of having a UUID only as the ID field, we had a complete ref, which included the um, the DNS name, port, the full URL to Barbican, plus the UUID all in one string. And um, as 
But more and more, um, OpenStack has more of a standard to just use the UUID. Uh, so this is just going to add an additional field. Um, this will be great for Tempest and other programs that access Barbican to have just a more consistent way to, to access Barbican objects. Um, so historically, um, back in the Juno timeframe, we looked at expanding the scope of Barbican to include certificate um, lifecycle to uh, request uh, certificates from a certificate authority, to renew certificate from a certificate um, authority. And we found that sort of bloated um, uh, Barbican a little too much, it strayed from the scope, and then changes in uh, the way CAs are issuing certificates, um, common CAs like Let's Encrypt that offer a REST API. We just found that it wasn't a good fit for Barbican. Uh, we announced last cycle we were gonna deprecate that part of the API, and we're doing that this cycle. And finally in Pike, uh, something exciting, the Castellan library that I talked about, which was um, developed by the Barbican team, is, has been adopted by Oslo, and so it becomes that much more uh, official OpenStack. Um, if you want to talk to a key manager, you would uh, use import the Oslo library, uh, uh, Castellan. Uh, looking forward in the roadmap, something missing from Barbican is there is no Horizon dashboard for, for Barbican yet, and that's something that, uh, that will is a future roadmap item for us. Uh, so documentation is something else we've done we're doing some work uh, for the Pike release. Uh, we currently have a quick start, uh, developers, uh, an install guide, an API guide. And uh, for Pike, we're looking at writing um, a, uh, a new chapter to the OpenStack security guide. And that'll cover uh, key management in general, covering Barbican and, and other possible options and considerations when adding key management to your cloud deployment. And uh, in general, for documentation, each release, there's a little bit of care and feeding that goes on to keep it uh, up to date and improved for documentation. Um, so another piece of Barbican that's improved over time, and we have some uh, development items for Pike release, is cross-project integration. Uh, so in the current release, uh, you know, foremost, we have uh, Keystone uh, integration. Keystone provides the authentication and authorization for Barbican, and, and that will continue. Um, so the current tally of uh, OpenStack services that integrate with Barbican to store their secrets uh, includes uh, Cinder working together with Nova. You can have encrypted volumes. Um, Nova can also, you can encrypt your ephemeral storage. And then Glance working with Nova, you can uh, sign and verify your, um, your VM images before you boot. Um, in addition, uh, Sahara and Magnum also can store um, en encryption keys and authorization keys. And uh, Neutron uh, LBAS, uh, Load Balancer and Octavia, um, also stores uh, TLS certificates that you can use for, uh, for TLS load balancing. So that's, uh, that's great. And uh, starting at the PTG for Pike, we had some discussions with some other teams, uh, including Swift and Tacker. Um, they're planning this release to, um, to integrate with Barbican to store their secrets uh, through the Castellan library. Um, and Oslo, as I mentioned, has adopted uh, Castellan for a key management interface as part of Pike. And um, also in general, we're improving um, our gate jobs. So we're doing scenario testing where with every patch of Barbican, we're doing um, uh, scenario verification tests that uh, the interaction with, with Cinder and Nova and Glance and so on continue to work. So that'll help with, uh, with the stability and testing of Barbican going forward. Um, another area of improvement for Pike is around access policy. Topology, um, policy. Um, so Barbican, when, uh, when a user requests, hey, give me your secret, please, or uh, create the secret for me, it needs to check a policy to decide whether this user is authorized to, uh, to do, perform that action. And Barbican offers a variety of, uh, of ways to implement this access policy. Uh, first and foremost, we have a role-based or RBAC um, access policy, and we have a pretty robust offering in this, where um, we have a creator, an admin, uh, an audit, and a, um, a, a viewer role that can be used. Um, to, to, you can use on a pro per project basis who has access to the project secrets. Uh, if you want to go more granular than that, we also have uh, an ACL, access control list, that on a per user basis, you can assign access to various secrets. And if either of those don't work out, uh, we also offer um, there's a policy.json file that can be modified by an operator when they start up Barbican, and you can customize this arrangement. So for Pike, we're looking at uh, improving the usability around ACLs. Uh, some, some of some projects, particularly the Octavia group, has said that using the ACLs has been a little bit cumbersome, so we're working with them to design some usability enhancements uh, for our ACL lists. 
uh, future roadmap in this area, um, you know, we leverage Keystone for authentication and authorization, so we really need to follow their lead. But we've had some good conversations about a desire to have scope tokens or to have uh, maybe single-use tokens um, to, to somehow improve the, to additionally secure and improve the access policy. But we really need to follow Keystone's lead because the, uh, the tokens are controlled by them. Um, so the project navigator on the OpenStack website is sort of a way of uh, keeping score, if you will, of maturity of a project. Um, so we're currently uh, over the Okada release and the beginning of Pike release. We've uh, had a lot of improvement in this area. Uh, we've improved our maturity index uh, up to four out of seven stars, and we have also uh, achieved the VMT manage tag on the, um, uh, the project navigator dashboard. And we're looking at adding uh, an additional uh, maturity point during the pike release by uh, adding um, offline upgrade and a gate test with, uh, with each patch of Barbican to make sure that you can upgrade from Okada to pike um, and to keep that up. So the, uh, the maturity is, uh, is improving and it's showing up on the dashboard. So overall, uh, the, the release themes for, uh, for Barbican for Pike is we're focusing on interoperability, security, and user experience, uh, and less so some of the other areas. And uh, for Queens, we don't really see that changing. Uh, just the, the nature of the Barbican project will continue the focus on those areas. Um, so a little bit of advertisement. Uh, we need your help. Uh, the Barbican team uh, is a dedicated team, but we're a pretty small team. Uh, I think we've done a good job managing our backlog. We keep up to date with reviews. Uh, so if it's a great project to, uh, to get involved in if this is your area of interest or expertise. Uh, specifically, if, uh, if you're a security uh, guru and know things about TPMs, HSMs, soft HSMs, uh, we'd really like your help with uh, uh, secret uh, store backend plugins. Um, in terms of documentation, if you're a writer and you wanna help out uh, the security guide, uh, if you want to help working on our, uh, the key management chapter for this release, that'd be great. Uh, Horizon developer, if you have dashboard experience, uh, you can write a new dashboard for Horizon uh, to support the Barbican uh, interface. Uh, and cross-project developers, uh, if you work on a different project and you're interested, you need a place to, uh, to store your keys, uh, please reach out. We're, uh, we're looking to, to grow and, and be part of all the OpenStack uh, Big Ten projects. And in general, everyone is welcome. Uh, I think we do a reasonable job keeping up with our bug backlog and our review backlog, and uh, we're a friendly group, so, so please feel free to, to join us. Um, also, operators, uh, we need your input. The, um, the OpenStack survey is, uh, is, is perplexing, uh, honestly, to, to a lot of the Barbican cores. The, uh, the, our adoption rate is, is still pretty low, and we really don't know what, I mean, what other options are there. So if, uh, um, if you have some input along these ways, uh, do you have a key management strategy that you're currently using? Um, and is that, is that solution meeting your needs? And if not, what are the gaps? And can Barbican, uh, can Barbican help? Um, so uh, any input you have experience uh, after investigating, checking out Barbican, please let us know. And a good place to let us know is um, a little advertisement for Barbican sessions um, at Summit. Uh, there's four more following this one. Uh, tomorrow, there's an onboarding session. So if you're uh, a developer and interested in getting involved with Barbican, uh, please drop by. Uh, we'll, we'll have a chance for one-on-one -on -one interaction and answer your questions and uh, get you set up and started. Um, in the afternoon is a Barbican workshop. Uh, so hands-on, uh, we'll walk you through setting up uh, Barbican uh, in a virtual machine that we'll provide and provide you uh, some interaction of uh, working with secrets in the Barbican API. Um, on Wednesday, there's, uh, as part of the OpenStack forum, there's a community coordination uh, session on key management uh, to talk about Barbican and any other key management uh, topics. Uh, that's a great place to bring up uh, your needs, uh, desires, and, uh, and complaints. And also on Thursday, um, we've got a session on comparing uh, security models, so comparing Barbican with the HashiCorp Vault security model, uh, pros and cons, and maybe some suggestions on how we can work those together. So thank you very much. That is the project update for Pike. And uh, if there's any questions.